I salute you. I took this opportunity to talk to you about the experience I had with the Lord in paradise, it pleased the Lord to make me witness to this reality that without him this mystery could not be revealed to me. But he who chose me from childhood to fulfill this specific mission, it all started while I was meditating on the Bible, some time after my visit to hell, I took the time to examine the experience I had wanting to compare it with biblical verses to know if really what I saw was the truth. Galatians 1-8, This is how I heard the voice of the Lord saying to me, Write everything that I will show you and proclaim it to the whole world, you will use all channels of communication to share this message and reach the ends of the earth. Know that today I will take you with me and we will go to paradise. Listening to these words I raised my head to see the person who spoke, immediately I was out of my body, the Lord stood before me in the form of an intense light like the sun which shines in its udder, in the middle of the light I could see the appearance of a man dressed in white, his eyes like fire, his voice sounded like like the sound of great waters, he tells me the time has come for us to go to heaven, on these words our ascension began. The roof of my house was bending like a scroll and in just a few seconds we were in space, I also saw souls taking the celestial direction, I cried out Lord what is happening why are men flying like birds, he says to me you don't know? These are Christians who have just died on earth and are heading towards heaven, I notice that those souls who ascended to heaven were each accompanied by an angel, he tells me these angels are those who accompany Christians in their service. I have placed one angel at the service of each Christians to accompany them in all their mission, you have no authority or power over this angel I, e, you will not tell them what to do m because they depends on me and don't do anything without my consent. So I said Lord what is their role in the life of Christian if the latter has no power over them? He tells me, they are eyewitness of all the acts you perform on earth. On the day of judgment they will be there to testify in your favor or against you about what you have done, he said to me, tell my beloved ones the availability of your soul guarantees your ascension to heaven, do not follow the pattern of the world because it deceives you, you are just passengers on earth, my dear brothers and sisters, I saw these souls in their rapture of going towards the kingdom of God singing hymns and celebrating the justice of God, but amazingly they were going up faster than us. So the Lord said it's because they have already died, I was in extreme admiration watching their eyes, these people were very happy to join the eternal life blessed by God. Then a voice was heard from heaven blessed are those who inherit the kingdom of heaven, for they are exempt from judgment and the plagues which must fall on the earth, since all the earth will wail and mourn, as soon as we ascended we arrived in a place in the sky which is called place of accounts settlement, the Lord told me. Everything you do on earth towards men will be paid in this place. God in is the judge between man and his neighbor, here the man will even pay for deeds he has forgotten. Even those who returned evil for evil will pay, 1 Thessalonians 5:15. See that no one pays back evil for evil, but always try to do good to each other and to all people. This place in space was like a block of cloud, when a soul arrived at this place if he had litigation disputes and unresolved issues on the earth, it will catch up with him. Here is a brother, who wanted to go upto heaven, but there was a television post stuck to his body, I am told that he was a repairman, one day he received a television from someone for repair, and it took longer than it should, very angry, the owner abandoned it. This unresolved dispute is why he could not continue to rise towards the ancient gate of heaven. I once again saw a woman who demanded that a quantity of the salt which was stuck on her right foot to be removed, I was told that she did not pay a salt debt that she contracted during his life on earth. He could no longer rise, another soul could no longer rise because someone gave him his phone to watch, but he used his credit to make a call without authorization from the owner, and the Lord tells me, he must return the owner credit, there was a soul who wanted to continue to rise and reach heaven but a figure appeared before her in this place, saying stop. He said to the Lord, Lord will you welcome him into your kingdom? He didn't want to forgive me, following the differences we had with him on earth, Jesus said, do not be surprised that his soul cannot access my kingdom because on the day of judgment men will bear witness to the evil which you had done them, and which they saw you committing, my judgment will be perfect.
A lot borrows the path of life but not everyone succeeds. Matthew 24 verse 13 But he that shall endure unto the end shall be saved, everyone who sees you do something keeps the memory of the act and will be an eyewitness in the day of judgment, Deuteronomy 19 verse 15 A single witness shall not suffice against a person for any crime or for any wrong in connection with any offence that he has committed. Only on the evidence of two witnesses or of three witnesses shall a charge be established, any place you had used to commit a crime that place will appear on the day of judgment to testify against you, because places, people and things know better the identity of a person, I tell you my dear brothers and sisters. The road that leads to salvation is a very narrow path. After this incident I saw image of the silhouettes of evil pastors which prevented souls from accessing heaven for having prayed in their churches, or for following their teachings, it was then that I saw a woman who was going to pass this border in the sky, but there was a silhouette of a false pastor, who was holding her back and blocking her, this is because she used to be member of his evil church, and finally the lady had stopped and could not continue to rise, then the Lord said to me, your goal is not to be blocked in this border in the cloud, we continued our ascent with souls and we arrived in a place where was the border between creation and eternity, 